Is that better? No. Hey, we're live. <laughs> we're looking at the camera. The camera. Welcome to our live feed. Yes, welcome everybody. Happy holidays. I know it's the season of giving and being together with family, so we wanted to pop in and just say happy holidays. We have our Christmas decorations here. Some little Whoops. trees by our sailboat. Uh, shirt's not buttoned <laughs> all the way. And uh, we're just checking the audio. I know last time we went live, or always, there's always a hiccup. So shoot us a comment if you can hear the audio. Everything looks like it's working. Just sit us in the live chat. If you're uh, around the phone, I think if you turn it vertical. Yeah, it's working. It's working. All right, she's got it. <laughs> if you're in, if you're on the phone, you turn it vertical. The video will be here, and there'll be a live chat below. You can chat with us. Um, one running question we want to uh, get your ideas on, uh, just to kind of see what you would do. Where would you go for next hurricane season? We're almost to the Caribbean. We're going to talk about where we're going. I have some charts to show with you, and we have a cool little update. Uh, about some boat projects, but where would you go for hurricane season if you're on a sailboat with a family of three and a, a dog that likes to lay around? <laughs> mostly doesn't look alive. <laughs> Grenada, Dominican Republic, Panama, Brazil, or Maine? That's not what we're talking about today, but I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Yes, definitely. We're talking about where to next. Um, we're saying happy holidays, Merry Christmas. We're in the Bahamas. We had an interesting discovery about Christmas in the Bahamas. Yes. We're going to share that. And um, yeah, we're going to spend a few minutes on the chart oh, and a few sailboat projects coming up. So we're thankful that you're joining us here today. Where to first? What do you want to talk about? Christmas in Bahamas. Christmas in the Bahamas. This was a <laughs> special aha for us. Do you feel like you're in the camera here? Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I can see me. Okay. <laughs> I can see your wine back there, too. Too early for wine. Um, Christmas in the Bahamas. What have you discovered? It is way different than Christmas in America. So there's like all the hype and hoopla of Christmas and the holiday season and buying and giving. And it's just so over commercialized in america and here it is just almost non-existent <laughs> yeah so we started thinking like how i mean where are we a week away from christmas a week away yes i don't even really know we saw some uh instagram posts and we're like oh people are all dressed up in uh you know christmas, christmas sweaters, sweaters and and mm. i was like oh we don't even feel that here like, yeah. you don't even feel that there was a Santa walking around the street yesterday <laughs> and he was just like, had a big gift bag and he's like, tips, tips, tips. And he wasn't even doing anything and he had his Nikes on. Um, and that was about all we've seen as far as Christmas holiday. So we were reflecting on it and we're like, yeah, you don't see the decor. You don't see, when you go to stores, all the gift boxes and buying presents and buying presents. You don't see that. Yeah, there's one little store here um, in Georgetown where we are. And I went in yesterday and I think they had maybe two to three rolls of wrapping paper for Christmas. But it was in the midst of the birthday paper and there was no decorations around or lights or anything like that. So it's just it's just not the same. You don't. Yes. Yeah, so you don't feel the same. And I know I'm reflecting back when we were in America and we we're like, oh, that sounds bummer. But on the other hand, we're like. No, we just kind of don't even notice it. We yeah. just like, I have a really short cable on the, the camera here, but if you can look over our shoulders, can you see that? I don't think that you, you can. can't. No. It's a beach right <laughs> back there. So. so you don't really think about Christmas <laughs> in the same way you do when you're back home in the States. Uh, it's just a little different. And so that was a big aha for us. Yeah. There is a celebration. So like instead of like the, the gift buying and all that. There's like junk and new is a big yes. thing at this time of year. And so that's going on right now. And we may or may not get to get any footage of it. We're hoping to. There's a story behind that. And we'll share with you in a coming <laughs> episode. Because we went to the yes, first junk and new celebration. We tried. <laughs> but um, in YouTube time, you are two episodes behind where we're currently at. And so that'll be coming out. We'll probably skip it. I don't want to publish on... Christmas, Christmas morning because morning, 
because no one's going to be watching anyway. <laughs> so watch. We'll, we'll have it. We'll have a bonus episode about our spinnaker. Um, we did a conversation with Precision Sales. So we'll be sharing that with you here just in the next few days. Anyway, um, thanks for joining us today. Let's talk about where to next. Uh, where to where next? to next? We are heading to the Caribbean. We're on our way there. We're, we're on our way. We're close. We're currently in Georgetown Exumas, kind of where we ended our season in the spring. And this is kind of like a good jumping point to get down to the Caribbean. So we still have a lot of the Bahamas left to explore. Yes. Uh, a lot of the, what they're called the out islands. And so they're like super isolated. Um, we have the chart here. I feel like a teacher. Uh, students, listen up. Uh, so here's Florida. Uh, can you give me a little pointer? This is Florida. There's Florida. And here's the Bahamas. All right. So here's the Bahamas. And we are right here, just north of Cuba. Okay. So not too far from Cuba. I guess if I was into cigars, we could go grab some, but we're right here. Um, we have all of these little islands to explore little bitty specks of land they're literally literally like underwater mountaintops um we're gonna get to go to those uh in the next few weeks mm -hmm. so that's gonna be awesome but the rest of our journey includes going east and and really i mean there's a southern component to it but it's mostly east all of this below us is the caribbean sea and so we get to explore the caribbean in winter and so it's called the thorny path. Yes, because it's supposed to be very hard to get there through this route. So, yeah, the easiest way to get to the Caribbean over here is from Europe, because that's the way the wind and the currents go. And those winds continue up this way and the currents continue this way. And we want to go the opposite. And so that's called the thorny path. It's supposed to be the most challenging path there. We didn't choose it because it's the most challenging. And we didn't choose the time of year because it's the I most challenging. I don't know if they believe you. They've seen our episodes. <laughs> <laughs> we chose it because we want to see all these islands. And so the traditional route is to take the United States, just go straight east, and then straight south, and skip all of the thorny path. But then you also skip all these wonderful mm -hmm. little specks of land. And so we're going to take you along the thorny path. We're going to do our best. To make it thornless? <laughs> I think. <laughs> I try. think. I'm willing to bet, knock on teak, that we can make it the thornless path. I'm, we're going to try. Gonna so try. anyway, that's what's coming next. Um, pretty much all of spring is going to be <sighs> heading uh, eastward. It's about um, 500 total miles. Mm -hmm. Actually, more like 1,000. This spec here is 500. So we got to make this and all this. We get to practice some of our Espanol. Como yes. Estás? yes, and Ian, Puerto Rico is definitely in one of, probably two or three of the stops along the way down the border of Puerto Rico. Yeah, so, so what countries? We get to hit new countries. This yes. is cool. We get to hit Dominican Republic. Um, we're going to skip Haiti and <laughs> go to Dominican Republic. We got Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. That's the United States Virgin and the British Virgin Islands. But then you hit the what are called the Leeward Islands. Um, that's the northern part, kind of the western part of these islands. And then the Windward Islands, way down here by South America. A whole slew of islands. Once we get down here, it should be pure, easy, no more thorns, easy sailing. <laughs> what are you uh, looking for most about the thorny path? About the thorny path? Yeah, what are you looking forward to? I am else? I am looking forward most to getting to the Eastern Caribbean and going to a couple of the French islands. Yeah. Um, we've heard that there's they have the most delicious bread and wine and speaking French. I'm ready to learn some French, and so we're gonna you know practice along the way, and hopefully, I think it's gonna be so exciting. Yeah, we get to learn French. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna yes. be fun. I think I'm looking forward the most. Um, Going to the islands where they speak Spanish, like Dominican Republic or Republic, Republica Dominicana. <laughs> We've been practicing Spanish for so long, right? Uh, Do you know any? I'm not very fluent. I oh, let no. Matt and Olivia do the speaking. This may not work out well. <laughs> I can get to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> this may not work out well. I can ask for a cup of wine. We've come across a friend. 
maybe who knows a friend, who knows, Aww. who sailed to one of these islands, fell in love with it so much, he day charters his boat there and pays for his condo. And he bought this little coffee farm. Yeah, so he's growing coffee he's growing in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Who knows? We might become goat farmers this time next year. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think so. The foster <laughs> journey turns into the foster farm. I don't know. We'll see. No, just joking. <laughs> just cutting jokes. Um, that's what's next. Yeah. That's what's next. Uh, we talk. Let's talk a little bit about. Oh no. What are you looking forward to the least? What is a fear that is looming for you? Uh, for me, I think it's probably the fear of we're going to a new country, mainly Dominican Republic. We can check into Puerto Rico and the USBIs and all of that very easily as U.S. citizens. But Dominican Republic is like kind of like my fear for when we came to the Bahamas for the first time. The second time coming in was super simple because I knew what to do and I knew what they expected. But Dominican Republic, like there's not much information that I can find. It's pretty much hearsay from other cruisers or people that have been there. And so you're trying to really find all of the little pieces that you need for the dog and for the boat and immigration and customs. So that part gets a little intimidating for me because it's just mm -hmm. a lot of research and planning and prep. So that's a little scary for me. <laughs> what about you? Ah, I was waiting for you to ask my biggest fear. Um, maybe not a fear, but it's the, it's the thorny path. There's a few parts of the passage that we're going to be fighting current. Um, we're on the North side of the Caribbean. So we have, all of those northers coming off of the United States. If you're watching from the U.S., you're you're throwing all that cold wind towards us. But what happens is that sucks in all the Atlantic current and pushes right to us. So we've got big swells to deal with. Hopefully they'll be smooth and just nice rolling hills. We have heard they are not. So we've got that. We've got the the Mona Passage, which is between the DR and Puerto Rico, and that's all of the currents coming like from Africa and up the Caribbean Sea. So we've got this location where these Atlantic currents are hitting these Caribbean currents, and it's just... Yeah. And then throw in um, the mountains, the DR. You saw today, how tall is the mountains there? Uh, one of them is 10,000 feet. So we've got these mountains, and I believe they've got these winds coming off the mountains down the coast, right into where we're sailing. And, and then, of course, the western side of Puerto Rico, you've got the thunderstorms each evening. So it's supposed to be a pretty interesting part of navigation. Yes. We met this really amazing Dutch couple here in Georgetown who have done the path backwards and forwards to the States, down to the ABCs and back several years. They've been sailing like, for 40 yes, years. Yes. Uh, he's a sailboat builder, so he built his sailboat. Very, very cool couple. They were telling us about the moon passage and all of the currents and everything to kind of expect. And they're talking about steep waves, just like standing up. And so that part is very, very intimidating. I'm hoping that we don't run into the thorns. I guess that's what they call it, the thorny path. I hope we don't run into those thorns and we <laughs> pick a window where it's a little more less bumpy. I hope so. So that's going to be so. fun. We get to share that with you. It's going to test our navigation and our sailing skills. And uh, that's going to be yeah. both scary, but probably the most fun, the challenge. Yeah. It's, it's always the challenge. It's someplace new, so that's extremely exciting. It is cool. So where we're at now, um, there's like at least two dozen kids, children, miniature sailors running around. From seven to what? 16, 17? Yeah, just then 18, you age out. Yeah. yeah, and these kids are like just all over the place, swinging from trees, jumping off of boats. So. Yeah, they're jumping in the dinghies by themselves, you know, pulling each other around. We're having a great time. It's we had a bonfire on the beach last night and all the kids. We, we just saw the adults. We kind of just sat back and the kids fed us marshmallows and they went and got all the firewood and kept the fire <laughs> going. So it was totally awesome. We're having a blast right now. Um, we're making some videos for you and Olivia is like having a great time meeting all the girls and mm -hmm. so, maybe the boys. I don't know. I don't know. She's being hush hush about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, we got some really cool things coming your way. A couple pro pro sailboat projects that we have. Our solar is not keeping up and uh, we completed phase one in Kima, Texas. We completed phase two of our solar 
in the east coast of the u.s it's time to do phase three and um why is it not keeping up well we let me let me just think about this we were here in the spring and i felt like we were always on bulk charge like the solar was keeping up it was super super sunny every day and we didn't have any problems and then we started thinking about last year at this time of the year we were in the icw we we're going up to the um chesapeake sorry my brain went crazy i went up to the chesapeake and then we came back down and we were motoring a lot and so that really helped to keep up the charge mm -hmm. but now it's winter time in the bahamas and it's just different so there's no motoring we're not at a marina and the sun you know the sun angle is no longer directly overhead like it is spring summer you got that sun angle much lower in the sky um maybe someone who's more scientific could let 30 or 60 degrees lower <laughs> but and it's much less sun shorter days so um, we've heard a lot of cruisers saying oh the solar's not keeping up so yeah. um, we're ready to upgrade our solar and so we look forward to sharing the plan with you and that project with you as well yes. this spring apart from that everything's good we want to say thank you for joining us we're at 16 minutes and we like to keep these pretty short but um we're going to read through some of the videos here and respond back and I see, yes, uh, Ian, we, man, we hope to make some more of those cool electrical videos. I feel comfortable with electrical. Do you think we're doing pretty good with our electrical work? Well, the boat is not on fire, so I guess so. It is good. We've learned a lot. We have an electrician friend. Yes. Uh, my dad did a lot of electrical work. Hey, dad, I hope you're watching. He's, and uh, He's there. <laughs> growing up, I played with, you know, the electrical kits, those little science kids so you know it's kind of fun it's all pretty basic around the boat 12 volts and whatnot so we look forward to making some of those videos okay. a couple things before we end sure. um joel is mentioning crewing with us and ah crew so crew experiences right ah, thanks for bringing that up we are putting together uh cruiser experiences so it's not quite just crewing and it's definitely not like a charter vacation um, it's kind of a mixed learning experience and we just had two of, uh, our patrons, friends, and we're calling them boat family, family now, now. Yes. um, <laughs> spend the weekend with us here. And we loved that. It was so much fun. We kind of missed them. Yes. Lynn and Shelly, <laughs> we miss you guys. <laughs> but our volleyball game's getting really good, Lynn. <laughs> anyway, so we have these experiences we're putting together. Let me type the web address here uh, in the chat. You can explore that. Right now, we're reserving it only for family and patrons um, because we're not set up to be running for profit and all that uh, with our boat. So it's just for family and patrons, but that's an easy thing to do. We can't adopt you in family, but you can join the Patreon and the math works out really in your favor. But I'll put that link in there. Also, we put together a blog post. Um, pulling up the link right now. It's called Gift Ideas for Sailors. I know it's really close to uh christmas right now however it's a cool list of things um that we've purchased for the boat and over the last two years really figured out yeah these are good we things. we love these things on the boat so we wanted to share that for you so if you know someone's asking you as a potential sailor what you need on your boat or what you would like these are some things that we have that we can't live without that's good so i just threw that in the chat the link it's also in the link of this description of this video and let me throw the actual career experiences link out here for everybody. If that's something you're interested in, I'm gonna type, can you talk? Oh yeah, I was just reading. All right. um, so Ken is asking if other sailors ran into Haitian or Cuban refugees on the water. Have you heard anything about that? We have heard of our buddy boat who just showed up here from Texas. They ran into some quite a few Cuban um, refugees in Florida. Um, so that's a very interesting story and experience to witness. We've seen some of the videos of it, but no, um, cute, no, uh, Haitian refugees. Yeah. So. Okay. And, um, Ian is asking about your captain's license. How's that coming up? 80% done. <laughs> he says that and the LOC are your next for crewing and day chart. <laughs> uh, yeah. The captain's license. We're 80% done mostly up here. Some of the coursework, but we just got to sit still long enough to make it happen. But uh, for the for the license, let's see. Next, 
is anything else in the chats that I'm missing? Uh, Rob just asked or gave some ideas about your flexible panels. They're more how you flexible, can use them. add cars to the side and raise them up. Those are pretty cool. I've seen people do that, definitely. So the solar panels right now, we have 340 watts. Um, they're producing really good when the sun's good. But uh, we're looking at options right now. The panels we wanted are out of stock. They've been out of stock for six months. And I don't see them coming back in the stock by the time we want to buy. So we may not really get the panels we thought we wanted. So we're going to do some extra research to do some other brands and um, get some good quality in a totally different configuration. But we're shooting for about uh, 700 total watts. And last thing, Anna put in here that she um, is excited about seeing us go into Puerto Rico and she watches the video. So thank you, Anna, for watching. Yeah. We we're hoping to have some really cool experiences along the way to share with you guys. Heck yeah. Um, I saw a question about where's Olivia? <laughs> Actually, she's sleeping right now. Late night, spend the night with friends. So she's in the cabin. She's probably awake listening in on us. True, probably. <laughs> um, so we won't talk a lot about her. Uh, let's see. Um Wind turbine. We've talked about wind turbine. We love that it can produce a few amps through the night on cloudy days and even when we're sailing. Um, we just don't have the space and real estate at the back of our boat, the 39 foot boat, right? So if we were 45 or 50, we just don't have the space to put it and still be aesthetically pleasing mm -hmm. and spacious fishing. We like the space we currently have. Um, and the more things we put on the back, the heavier the boat becomes, the poorer it performs and the more shade on the solar panels. So, you know, um, we don't have a good solution on wind yet. Yes. Bigger boat. <laughs> yeah, bigger boat. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. Uh, a, a chat on discord. That would be cool. We haven't had, um, we haven't had a lot of interest on Discord. I'm a part mm -hmm. of uh, Discord with Uma, Sailing Uma, so I know how that works. And it's a cool online platform. It's actually an app on the phone we could do for chats and things uh, for patrons, but maybe so. I, I don't know anything about Discord, but he's the tech one. So, so yeah, Ian, that's a good question. Um, we'll look into it. My ears are open, and I'm listening to see if it's something people want. And that's a cool way to do chats, for sure. So, anyway... We appreciate everyone showing up and commenting. Um, let me circle back to the first question. If you were on the journey, where would you go for hurricane season um, from the Bahamas? Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Grenada, Brazil, Panama, or all the way back up to Maine? Just curious about what <laughs> is most <laughs> interesting to you. Yeah, just drop us a comment. And again, um, we have the gift ideas for sailors that you might find interesting to browse. I'm going to drop that in the comments again. And that's about it. That's it. Thanks for joining us. And we wish you a happy Sunday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All of the things. All Thanks of the for things. watching our channel. Joining us today on YouTube Live. It's so fun to have this experience with you. It is fun. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.